So what's next? Let's turn to our political team. Major Garrett is covering the Republicans. Nancy Cordes is with the Democrats. And we have John Dickerson in Washington, the anchor of Face the Nation. Nancy, let me start with you. How does the Clinton campaign go forward from here? Well, they work to distill their message against Donald Trump. You heard Hillary Clinton today calling him risky. She called him a loose cannon four times. Nuclear weapons, another phrase you'll hear a lot. She'll argue uh, that he's not steady enough to have his finger on the button. One Clinton campaign aide told me today they're basically going to break their message down into three parts. Number one, he can't unify the country. Number two, he can't be commander in chief. And number three, he isn't out for anyone but himself. And yet, Major, he defies all expectations. How do you see the campaign going ahead into November? Senior Trump advisors have told me if Trump is the issue, they lose. What has to be the issue and what Trump has to guarantee is projected as the issue, the Obama administration, Hillary Clinton's role in it, insider versus outsider, establishment politics versus a new framing of politics. If Trump does that, his closest advisors believe the way he has remade the Republican map in the primaries can be remade in a general election. He can run competitively in places Republicans haven't for a good long while and change the dynamic of the race. John Dickerson, how do you see Trump-Clinton? Well, that word risk keeps coming in all the conversations I had today. The way some establishment Republicans are coming around to Trump is that they say, well, big risk, but also big reward. So they believe that he can put some new states in play. This is the most optimistic case, of course. Then there are others today who are talking about the dangers and unpredictability and volatility of Trump. They are still, a lot of Republicans in Washington, trying to figure out how much to get behind him and how much to run on their own kind of ticket and just hope that things don't come crashing down. Nancy, is Donald Trump the candidate that Hillary Clinton wanted to run against? Uh, he's very unpredictable, and her campaign acknowledges that. It perhaps would have been easier to run against someone like Ted Cruz. What they argue, though, is that they have some advantages that all of his Republican opponents didn't. First of all, they come out of the gate against him pointing out his flaws in a way that a lot of the Republicans were afraid to because, A, they were afraid he would train his fire on them, and, B, they wanted his supporters. Hillary Clinton isn't worried about that, so she will make the case on issues and on personality in a way that some Republicans only did when it was too late. The other thing the Trump campaign has to begin working on is a vice presidential running mate. That formal vetting process hasn't begun. There isn't a committee. There isn't a single vetter who's looking over it. But the process will begin in the next couple of weeks. And finally, John Dickerson, one of the fascinating things about this matchup is that both of these candidates, according to the polls, are disliked by a majority of the American people. Uh, that's right. And, and we're going to see potentially some of these big outside groups spending money fast to, to define Donald Trump, which means that this race in its initial stage may be ugly from the start. And it may just keep getting uglier as they trade uh, attacks back and forth between each other. Been plenty ugly already. John Dickerson at Face the Nation, Nancy Cordes, Major Garrett, thanks so much. You're welcome.